Welcome back to my 100% playthrough of Unbeliever for Heretic on the Tower to Smite Meister difficulty playthrough Russian Heretic. We are doing all levels with a one start and this is E2M8, the font. Let's begin. Alright, so this level is a little out there, kinda. But it's nothing too extravagant, I suppose. You're starting off with a number of items that will be given to you at the start. And once you grab the bag of holding these areas with all of these enemies will start to reveal themselves. It's just Ophidians, but at the same time, oh no, it's Ophidians. Good God, please end this mess. So let's use the Dragon Claw to start things off by dealing some AoE damage, sort of, I guess, to all of these guys. And if we need some more ammo, we got the bag of holding so we can hold all of these uh, quivers. And if we need any health, we can just use our sippy juice. I'm gonna keep using the uh, crossbow for these guys until, uh, yeah, this is a good spot. All right, so now that these guys are disposed of, for the most part, we can just continue on destroying the rest of these dudes. And there we go. Alright, so we have lots of ammo for the Phoenix Rod, but, uh... We don't have any other enemies to use it on, but that's fine. Let's continue on, though. Because over here is a switch, and it will lower another part of the level. Or should I say parts, because there's plenty more where that came from. Alright, so this area is full of other warriors and saber claws. Yeah, this combination I've seen it a few times before. The saber claws exist pretty much solely to try to block your path and melee you if you get close to them, of course. And the undead warriors are there to just destroy you, but the thing about it is it's very easy to get them into in fights, you just need to move between them, and uh, odds are you'll get a very nice infight going on with them all. Anyways, let's finish off these guys. Yes, it's all ghosts at this point, so I'm gonna use the wand. Oh yeah, there's the hell staff. I was looking for that. Yeah, this place is a uh, kind of like a big circle so it's a little easy to lose yourself in it all but it, it's fine when you're done fighting them you can go to the area where the fire mace is and press this button and now the uh, final part opens up and of course you guessed it there's the strippy So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let some of these guys uh, have at it a little bit. I know there's the big scary, the sparrow and the serpent, but uh, the serpent's kind of useless, except for imp fights. I'll let the uh, disciples fight amongst themselves. And get the uh, serpent in on it too. Yeah, wrestle with each other for me, would you? I just really want to get rid of the Disciples without even having to fire shots. Now I could probably speed things up by helping these guys in fight, but you know. I'll actually do that. And while we're at it, let's uh... Yeah, let's continue firing at these guys. I, I don't care if I'm missing shots with the Phoenix Rod. I know they're flickering, but I still want to just blow these guys up. It's very satisfying for some reason. Just because of the big knockback, because they're flying enemies. And they don't have the biggest mass. So they really get knocked back by uh, Phoenix Rod projectile shots. Anyways. I'm probably going to focus on the Molotars first, since... They're the ones that fire the insta-kill, screw you attacks. Now one thing we could try to do... ...is try to burn them... 
Uh, no promises that would work. You can continue to try firing at them with uh, other weapons. You have plenty of ammo at this point, or at least you should. So I'm just going to fire the hell staff at them because... While I could probably do Baltar CBT with one of these guys, two of them is probably a no-go. Because while I'm fighting one, the other can easily just, uh, you know, put down a, a screw you insta-kill attack and just delete me then and there. Even though I have 100 health and uh, all this armor, which is enchanted shield armor. Doesn't matter, these guys don't care. And you know what? I don't care about them. I'm just gonna hang around in the corners here while they fire those dumb projectiles. And, uh, not let them get anywhere close to me so they don't fire that screw you attack. Even now, I have plenty of ammo. So, even though I'm using up all the Hellstaff ammo, I still have all the other weapons like the, uh, Phoenix Rod, which still has lots of ammo to use against these guys, so this encounter isn't really that big of a deal. I just want to get rid of the Molotars first so they don't fire that screw you attack. I've probably referred to it as such so many times in this video already, but it's just so annoying. But whatever. We've gotten rid of the Molotars. Now we can get rid of the Sprippy and his inedible barrage of disciples. And I haven't used, even used one Tome of Power. I'm probably gonna do that after, uh, yeah, right about now. Now, getting zapped isn't ideal, but it's probably to be expected. <laughs> Thank goodness for that armor, right? Yeah, the Sparrow has his own screw you insta-kill attack which uh, probably would have killed me if not for the armor so if you're not feeling confident in burning him you could probably switch to more conventional weapons usually I like to use a crossbow since this area is pretty open and he doesn't teleport a lot on this difficulty even if he did this area is still like small enough so that he wouldn't be able to teleport too often I suppose but anyways he's dead he didn't even summon any disciples we can now exit the level. And there we go, that's the font. And uh, with that, we are done with the second episode. So, this level's pretty simple. Uh, excuse the uh, eyesore of an intermission screen. <laughs> I know that texture's still weird to me even now, but whatever. Um, this episode is very interesting because of how small the maps are, how simple they are how strange they are really this is a very strange episode and uh i guess that was kind of the point the levels are very simple the line deaths are limited like the uh episode's title implies it's very strange how it's kind of like line death art like sometimes if you check the auto map like it's outright line death art but it kind of affects the gameplay, this line death art. It's not as exciting as the previous episode, and I can say this already, it's not as exciting as the next episode. This episode is very strange, but it's still very playable, and you can still have a bit of fun with it. But I'm, I'm just saying that this is the uh, low point of the wad that I, I, I find personally. It's still fine, it's still very playable, and in some cases, still enjoyable, but the first episode is... and the third episode that we'll be seeing in the future are just, like, leaps ahead. <laughs> some of these levels are kind of like... They, they kind of give me 1994 vibes, but whatever. They're, they're still very playable. Anyways, we are done with this video. Stay tuned for the next one where we begin episode 3, but until then, toodaloo.